Hello Quizlings, it's Simon here, aka The Quiz Wizard, and it's time for the Something for the Weekend Quiz, a brand new quiz format from me that will come available to you every single Friday. Three rounds of eight questions on topics of my choosing. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to The Quiz Wizard channel. So, how does the Something for the Weekend Quiz work? Well, you're going to get three rounds, as I say. Round one today is general knowledge. Round two is all about animated films. And the third and final round is a picture round all about computer characters. So, you will have about 10 seconds to answer each question. Let's get playing. Round one, general knowledge. So, here comes question one. In which US state is Disney World? Well done if you put Florida. A nice, easy one to get you started. Obviously, the Sunshine State. Question two. What word represents the letter F in the radio phonetic alphabet? It is Foxtrot. And if you have a look here, you can see all of the different letters. Obviously, we're all familiar with Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Yeah, that's all 26 right there. Question three is about this guy. Joey was a spin-off from which TV series? Yes, it's obviously a spin-off from Friends. And there is Joey Tribbiani when he was in Friends. Um, it wasn't massively popular here in the UK. I don't know about elsewhere. Question number four is about this character. Which author created the character Tracy Beaker? just Jacqueline Wilson, Dame Jacqueline Wilson, and there she is. Question five. You've got some lyrics there that might help you a little bit, but here is the question. Which group topped the charts in 1978 with the song Dreadlock Holiday? great band 10cc I have seen them live believe it or not and there you go there's the cover for dreadlock holiday number six oh well, I would pay to be there right now which Caribbean island has Havana as its capital city Well done if you put Cuba. And you know I like to throw in a fun with flags around every now and then, so remember that one there. Number seven is about the Olympics. But which German city hosted the 1972 Olympic Games? That's the summer. Even just had a guess on this one, but the answer is Munich. There is an image of one of the medals from the 1972 Games, 20th Summer Olympics. And last question this round, number eight. 
Which sign of the zodiac is represented by the archer? The archer represents Sagittarius. And uh, yeah, I found this image here with all the positive and ne negative characteristics of uh, Sagittarius. Is this is so uh, philosophical, world-minded, and optimistic, but at the same time self-indulgent, blunt, and impatient. So that's the end of that round. Let's move on to our second round today, which is animated film. Here's question one. Which Disney film features the panther Bagheera? It's personally one of my favorite Disney films. It's the Jungle Book. I think The Bare Necessities is probably one of the greatest ever tracked. That the whole soundtrack of the jungle is fantastic. Number two, it's about finding Nemo. But what type of fish is Nemo in the 2003 film Finding Nemo? It's a clownfish. Number three is about this character here. In which 1970 Disney film does Thomas O'Malley appear? The Aristocats. There we go. I remember doing this uh, as a stage play at school. Number four. In which 2009 film did a pensioner travel in a house lifted by balloons? Obviously, we've had uh, a lot of video calls during the, the coronavirus pandemic. The film is called Up. That character, the pensioner there, is called Carl, and apparently, I'm one of his lookalikes. I don't see it myself. Maybe you do. Question five. Peter Rabbit. Who voiced the title character Peter Rabbit in the 2018 film Peter Rabbit? So who voiced Peter Rabbit? Seriously, very well done if you put James Corden. Pixar, what is the title of the first feature length film produced by Pixar? It was Toy Story. Number seven. The Little Mermaid, but what is the name of Disney's Little Mermaid? It's Ariel. Ariel. And um, if you ever wanted to know, here are the names of all of her sisters, I believe, from the film. Lots of them. And she's seventh. Wow. That's good knowledge. 
And number eight is about Frozen, one of the biggest films of all time. But the 2013 film Frozen is based on the story The Snow Queen by which author? Hans Christian Andersen. There is the front cover of the Snow Queen. All right, we've just got one more round to go. And round three today is computer characters. It's a picture round. So what you're going to get is a picture of the character. And I've tried to give you another little bit of an extra clue as well. You just need to tell me the character's name. Okay, here we go. Here is picture number one. Who is this? Famous from the Tomb Raider games. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2. Well done if you put Lara Croft. Question two. Here's your character. the uh, game Mortal Kombat. This character's called Raiden. Character number three. Sadly, I can't give you another clue on this one because the character is the same as the name of the game. This one's tough. But well done if you put Zool. I reckon that's probably the toughest question on the quiz today. Here's question four. Name the character. Here's a clue this character's name in Miracle World on the Master System, the Sega Master System built in. I still love this game, but you could never save on a Master System. There's the game itself. It's Alex Kidd. Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Number five. fighting game Street Fighter it's Chung Li question six another tough one here from the game Metal Gear Solid Tactical espionage action game. It's called Snake. Solid Snake. Number seven. He's the arch enemy of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Dr. Robotnik. Here is your last question. Number eight. From the game Zelda. It's called Link. Okay, how did you do today? Our three rounds were general knowledge, animated films, and computer characters. Make sure you comment and tell me how many you got overall, but tell me how many you got on each round. 
Remember, if you've enjoyed the quiz, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. And tell other people to come and join as well. But before you go, here is a Quiz Wizards. Fun fact. Did you know the tallest person of all time was Robert Pershing from the USA, who stood at 2 0.72 meters tall. That's 8 feet 11 inches. And here he comes. Wowzers. And that is a fact. I hope you've enjoyed the something for the weekend quiz. Make sure you tune in next Friday for that and also my live quiz on a Monday night at 8.30. See you later.